there, this is Lana's Enchanted Sky. Welcome to your June cusp readings for 2021. Please hit like and subscribe, hit that button for a chance to win a free reading hypnosis, whatever I do. I do choose people from when you're making comments on my videos, that's how I am choosing them. So it's pretty cool. Thank you for everybody saying, making comments that I look a little different. I've lost a lot of weight. I finally am losing weight and um, I'm starting to level up my blood sugar that was starting to get a little high too. So um, I'm going to keep on it and I've lost about over, over 35 pounds so far. So I'm doing really well. Um, thank you for all the comments and the encouragement. Uh, also visit Metaphysical Meanderings. That's my podcast and it has exploded. I am, from what we can tell, because now we are being blocked from knowing our numbers. Um, I'm not even going to go there. There's some social media that are playing games. Anyway, um, from what we're seeing, we're thinking it's going, it's it's gone up past 2.1 million, more to like 2.3, but we're not sure now. We can't tell, but I know I'm getting a lot of hits. Also look for me on Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, Spotify, Anchor, and like three other places. Um, I'm all downloaded, loadable, so you can do that. Also, um, if you are looking for a reading, hit me up, EnchantedSky.com. I am 25% off. Joke of the day. You know, somebody stole my mood ring, but you know, I just don't know how I feel about that yet. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, here. This is Saggy Cap. And I'm a saggy cap. And I laid a re reading uh, earlier and I said not to, to put it online. It was a very spiritual one about getting unstuck. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to lay something different. And I got almost a lot of the same cards. You're going with speed and haste towards a new job, a new career, a new way to make money. It's that simple. Okay? You're scared to death but you don't see what is wonderful about this whole thing. Now, we, in May, there is a huge transit. I know in my chart alone, I have five major planets in Uranus, which means, and it only happens every 85 years. There is a huge happening for everybody and mostly people who are the Sagittarius Capricorn cusp. Because I know that I, since mine is that way, yours will be too. And I know that the whole world is going through a change in May. And this is in June. And you're starting to, to reap the benefits of that vibration. And you're, you're just scared to death. And this card is just, I always I have to laugh at this card because this card never manifests. It's like you're up and worrying. Oh my God, I do the right thing. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my ah! God. It never happens. That's what this card means. You're up for no reason. You're wasting a lot of precious energy. That's kind of what this card means. Because you are taking the bull by the horn. So you did do something that make the change. And you're just scared that you maybe didn't do the right thing. But look at the card with it. That is the card of reaping the benefits of your growing your garden. So you are going to be successful with this. Okay. There's a lot of very good cards here. Now, you're going to be celebrating. Now, this can represent, I always laugh, because this card can represent, if it was a love reading, uh, a three-party, you know, a love triangle. It can also represent a partnership, but it, it's celebration. Maybe, you know, it, it's June. Maybe you're out of school. <clears throat> Maybe you're getting together with a bunch of friends for the first time. I know here in the United States, and I would say about half of you are from the United States, we're starting to get together with friends again. We're going to, and I, just like I predicted, by the way, if you had looked in my predictions back, back in January and metaphysical meanderings, I had tons of predictions and I said, we, there's a speeding up in April and you're going to see us going back to normal. And here I'm, I have it right. Now the rest of the world will catch up with us as they get their shots. I do predict that India's uh, rate of COVID is going to slow down dramatically as the, the medicines come in quickly. They're going to come in quickly, like overnight almost to July and August. And it, you're going to see a lot of uh, slowing down of, of COVID there. So for my people in India, just be patient. It's coming very quickly, the, the, the help, okay? There is change. 
there is change. And this is a card of change. And it's spiritual. Maybe you're looking at something differently and you're just going, I just know that you've got your wish. You've got what you want. Now you're orchestrating this. That's what this, this one and this one, these cards are sort of similar. Um, it's you taking the bull by the horns and you are the ultimate authority on something. You, you, and you're, you're taking control of it. They're telling you that you're being strong, that you're, you just keep on being strong, okay? You have the strength within you. This also could be a Leo card, so, so it could be a Leo person involved. Now, the King of Cups can represent a water sign involved. It could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a, a uh, Scorpio. It also can represent you in a time of healing as you figure out what you're going to do with yourself. Now, you had your, you had your moment, your shakeup, which could have been in May, like I said. There was a shakeup that had happened, like a shock, a blow, or sudden aha moment also. And you've got that new start. Death of the old, in with the new. And you have, look at this, the happily ever after card. So whatever you've done that's new, whatever you've decided in the month of June, or you that even happened into May, because of the energies, it's going to lead to the happy family, to the happily ever after. Now you're scared. You're scared of being left out in the cold, you know, but they're telling you to just get rid of some stuff that's not necessary to go forward and see, look at you will be, you will be growing your own garden. You will be harvesting. You will be, you know, in the long run, it's going to work out for you. Okay. What do you need to release to get going on this? They're telling you to release something, something that's holding you back. Okay. Now. The truth is unfolding is one thing. You're going to know your truth really soon. Keep going and don't give up. That's a good one. Remember, I'm a Sag cap, cap too. So I understand what this is going on for me. I'm going to be looking at something completely differently here in June, and I know it. And I, like I said, I have huge transits, which only happen every 85 years. I'm going to have, my life's going to be different. And level endure means don't leave... Don't leave out the people and don't in, not include the people who are in your life. We are, we have a strong Sag in us and we're very loyal. We're the type of people that I'll be friends with you 20 years from now because you are my friend. If you are not my friend, you better watch out. But if you are my friend, I'm extremely loyal. And that's kind of what that card is reminding you of. Change your environment, go on vacation. I know I will be in June. So listen to your heart. It always, always knows the right way. Because you remember, your heart is your soul, and your soul remembers all of this. Okay, it remembers everything. Transformation. See, you're transforming yourself. You're becoming a new person, a new situation, a new, a new you that you really should have been probably the whole time. I am brilliant. I am exceptionally clever and intelligent. I apply my ideas, cre creating a plan to achieve my goals. So what is it? What's your goals? Because it's coming. Blessings to all of you. I will be seeing you for your um, finance and career really, really soon. Blessings.